So today we're going to be looking at a really good main battle tank game that I had the other day with some randoms and some squad mates. I'm going to be commentating over some interesting parts to kind of give you an idea on what I'm thinking when I'm playing and hopefully this will give you guys some idea on how I play main battle tanks and you know if you want to incorporate some of how I play into your own gameplay. So we're opening up on Stranded. The first thing I would typically do if I get a main battle tank is push to the center objectives. However, the center objectives in this map are mostly infantry focused. And because there's two flags, they're way more difficult to capture and hold. So in this case, I'm just going to head straight to D and capture that point. And we'll see where we're at from there. So you can see the enemy is pushing quite quickly with their vehicles towards D. Usually this is fine, but in this case, it's where all of our vehicles are going to be. So you can see we tether them pretty quickly. So as we're moving out to A, I notice two rams in my peripheral vision heading to D. I'm going to want to shut them down immediately because otherwise they're going to back cap and have the advantage. I pop APS during the first fight to just reduce the damage from the first ram. And the second one locks onto me using their AT missile, which I'm easily able to counter using thermal smoke. We notice that there are guys on the point, so we're going to want to hang out here and clean them up before moving on. We also find a random bolt. Some people might be wondering why I don't chase after it. Well, Bolt's main tactics are usually just to drop mines and then bounce out and hope that you chase after them. So there's no way I'm going to be following this thing. Instead, I'm going to keep it at a safe distance, try and take it out, and then check for mines before moving on. So we spend quite a long time trying to find the guys camping on this point. It's important to not move from points like this because otherwise you're going to have to just turn around later and come and recapture them back. At least if you're holding them like this, you're going to have infantry spawning on the points coming to help defend and they can kind of rustle them out from wherever they're hiding. I'm trying to figure out where to go next and I notice that the enemy is making a push on E so I immediately turn that direction and start to play a bit of a defensive game. On the way there we see the nightbird flying a little too low and we take a shot. Absolutely beautiful. Probably one of the better shots that I've ever had. Once we get to E we find an enemy cav trying to capture the point. I immediately pop APS because the 25mm AP DS rounds completely tear through my armor. Popping APS early means that I can prevent a lot of those shots, and since the APDS rounds regenerate so slowly, just blocking a few of these is enough to make sure that the cav isn't enough to kill me. I take an M5 shot here from the center island, and it's actually a pretty good shot. I know the second round is coming, so you'll notice I pop APS before the second round hits and easily intercept it. On our way out of A, we notice a couple more infantry pushing the objective, so we're going to turn around just to clear them up before we leave. You'll notice here I've got a full tank crew of randoms who are actually doing a really good job, so you know, props to them for keeping me safe this game. So as you can see, we're hanging around B for a little bit just to make sure there's no stragglers that spawned while we were capturing it. And on my way back, I noticed the attack chopper going to hide behind the crates in the back of their spawn. Now this tells me that this pilot isn't new. He knows to hide when his flares need to replenish and he knows the good spots. I've hidden here many a time. Unfortunately, there's no way he could have been expecting me to have pushed the main battle tank this far up and have a perfect sight line of his hiding spot. I think if I'd missed that shot, I would have been in real trouble because he would have come for me immediately. And unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do in the main battle tank against attack choppers. 
So we're done with B and I start to turn around to go back to E1. Some people might be tempted to go try and capture C1 at this point, but since it's a dual flag location, I really don't see much point trying to capture this with a vehicle because I'm not going to be able to help capture C2 and odds are the enemy is just going to come and capture it before my team would even be able to get coordinated to capture C2. I think it's much more important for me to go to E1. So as we pull up on E1, we immediately get ambushed by a Sundance with C5. But Sir Lancelot, the guy who is sitting on the commander seat, just hops out and melts this guy. Which is an absolute perfect play if you're playing as the passenger and you see this happening. I was actually so impressed to see this, I gave him a thank you in game. Which I think demonstrates how rare this kind of thing is with randoms. So after a little while we're joined by some friendly infantry and we're all just kind of looking for this enemy who is sitting on this point. Turns out he was on the radio tower so there's nothing we could have done. From here we decide to head out to D1. Here I pop APS a little too early, I was expecting an additional round from the player who was over by the boat. Our squadmate Limitless has joined us at this point and he is just hopping out to repair our tank. You'll notice that he hops on top of the tank to repair so I'm able to still move around and he can still do his job. I'm getting a bit frustrated with the people who are hiding behind the rocks outside of D1 so I decide to go up and push them just to kind of clear the area out and make sure they can't recapture D1. And as we're doing that and coming over the hill towards A1 we get another perfect opportunity against an attack chopper and just absolutely meld it. So we come up on A1, the objective's completely swarmed with infantry so let's clear them up before pushing in. We see that someone's calling in an MAV and just by taking a quick look at the map we know it's not a friendly one. So I decide to take a shot at it while it's coming down to lower its health before it can actually fight back. Map dead. It's at this point in the run I can tell that the enemy team is getting frustrated with us. We're getting hit by a lot more rockets and we're getting just generally a lot more attention than we were initially. As I'm moving out of A towards B, I like to keep an eye on their enemy vehicle spawn. So if I see anything popping out, I can turn around and take care of it before it recaptures A. So an enemy ram has actually snuck around and is trying to take back A1 and on the way to it we get hit by a nightbird. Let's see how that plays out for them. Is that a chopper? Yep. Beautiful. Obviously here we're in a really bad position, we have the ram to the right of us and a tank right behind us and no APS to protect us. I decide to pop smoke in order to try and give us cover and make sure that that tank can't get that final round off to finish us off. I ask Limitless to pop out and repair us which he quickly does. Just as I kill this sniper that main battle tank decides to come straight for us. Thankfully Hami Singh who's on the mortar pod lands a perfect shot which weakens him. Limitless pops out with the RPG. And we're able to APS to block a shot and then just finish him off. Nice. Is he still alive there? As we head to B1, we see a bunch of people leaving the objective, so we'll just clean them up as we come by them. So I can't really take any credit for any of the fighting here. It's just my squad and these randoms doing absolutely amazing, protecting the tank, repairing the tank, doing a great job. 
Meanwhile, I'm missing pretty much all of my shots. Take a shot at the attack chopper, which in hindsight is probably not a good idea at this range, and they immediately turn their attention to us. As soon as those rockets start hitting you, you need to pop APS, otherwise you're done for. They're playing it smart, staying high in the sky, not giving me the opportunity to get a shot off. And when I do get the opportunity, I unfortunately miss. It's super frustrating. Pilot's actually really good. They fire the first rocket to try and bait out APS, which they do, and then they immediately pull off knowing that they don't want to waste their rockets during this engagement. We get ambushed by an engineer who I think is going for a repair tool, so Lancelot, being the absolute champ he is, hops out and murders this guy. I do have one more trick up my sleeve. I'm playing as Irish, so I hop out and put down two sentinels in order to just give me a little bit of breathing room. Hopefully I can get one more shot off and finish him off. And at the very last moment where everything's on the line, I take the shot and I miss. And at this point, I think this is pretty much the end. Well played to this attack chopper, he knew what he was doing. If we were able to make that shot and didn't drop the ball, we probably would have been able to ride out the tank until the end of the game. Upon reviewing, it was that guy who I hit behind the crates, who I initially said was a good pilot, so, you know, good work. Looking at our score, we see that we got 33 kills, 25 assists and 10 captures. Could we have gotten more kills if we'd just sat on the hill outside of D1, just shooting infantry all game? Yes. Would we have had such a significant effect on the game? Absolutely not. Those 10 captures were very important to the outcome of the game. It was also a really good run, so I thank my teammates, because I think they did a really good job. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was something a little different. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Drop me a comment, a like, a subscribe. It all helps out. Also, let me know how you're enjoying Season 7. Take care. Bye. stuff.